What's up, YouTube? Live Sports Talk here. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at Live Sports Talk. I've been tweeting a lot lately, so uh, follow me. It's a tweet of news, good stuff, I think. I mean, I get, that's obviously for you to decide, but I think it's good stuff. So um, today, I'm going to give my AL West predictions because I'm kind of behind on these, but I'm going to do the NL West I'm going to record it tonight. Whether or not I release it until tomorrow is a different story. But uh, So I'll have them done before Wednesday. Don't worry. So um, I'm just going to jump right into it. First team that I have, the team that's winning the AL West, I have the uh, Angels. Now, the Angels got the big offseason move this year, uh, picking up our pool holes. Great, great pick up. I think it was a great move. Whether or not they paid too much for him, that's a different story, but they got him. That's all that counts. And I think with him, they will be able to win that division. Now, last year, they were 10 games back from the Rangers. And I think the Rangers played a little... A little... They, their record was a little better than they really are, I think. Uh, they've Their pitching's getting old, the Rangers. I'm talking about. Uh, their pitching is getting old, and they don't really have, besides Josh Hamilton, anyone that can really consistently hit it out of the park. Now, with the Angels, I think that they have a they besides like the Phillies, they might have one of the best. They have, they have a really a pretty good top three in their rotation. They got Weaver, Heron, and then Santana. Weaver is an all star in his own. Heron's pretty good. Santana's pretty good. They got Wilson fourth. He's not bad. I mean, they got pool holes at first base, like I said. He's going to have another great year. They got um, they got Vernon Wells at left field, who is getting old. But he can still, when he connects with the ball, if he can connect well, it he has power. So he'll be able to do... Uh, some things. Torrey Hunter's still decent. He's pretty good. And then coming off the bench, they got uh, Trumbo. He's a young guy. I think he's going to really be able to come into his own this season. He can play first. He can play third. He can DH. I mean, he can play left or right field. He's second under all these places, so I feel he's going to come out and take somebody's spot this year and uh, have a pretty good year. They got Howie Kendrick at second base, uh, Ionetta at catcher, and, you know, they got an average bullpen. Not going to say it's good, not bad, average. So I think with our pool holes, he'll be able to get them those – 10 wins or so, however many they need, and they'll be able to just barely get past the Rangers and uh, win this division. Now, for the Rangers, uh, they obviously are going to come in second. Like I said, they got Josh Hamilton. Great. Uh, they have Beltre. He's not as consistent, but he's still pretty good. Nelson Cruz is fantastic. He's a great right fielder. I don't know how how well he's going to do this year, but he's, he has the potential to have a great year. They got Young on the DH, uh, Kinsler at second base, Andrew shortstop, Moreland at uh, first, and Napoli catching. Napoli's a pretty good catcher, I'd say. Now they got they got you Darvish. Darvish. They got the best like uh, rookie bring up. Uh, yeah, rookie pitcher. And um, they nailed him down. I don't know how well he's going to do. I picked him up on my fantasy team. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited for him. He he has potential. But besides him, their pitching lineup isn't like isn't that it's not that uh exciting, really. I mean, you got Lewis, Holland, Harrison, Darvish, Feliz. None. I mean, they have Ogandu Ogando out of the uh, bullpen, who's pretty good, but they're starters. They don't have anyone like 
eye popping. They don't have a Roy Halladay or a like the Rangers have another Rangers. Like the Angels have a Weaver. They don't have that one guy. And uh, with Ogandu coming off the bench, uh, coming out of the bullpen, I'm pretty sure he can throw a hundred. So that's why he's pretty good. Uh, Nathan's their closer, not bad, but. I don't think that I think this team is gonna just come up a little bit short than the Angels, who have our pool holes this year, and our pool holes is can get you wins. Like I said, I mean the the Cardinals had ninety wins with our pool holes, and if you take our pool holes away from the Cardinals, I think th- the Angels are a better team than the Cardinals. Like if neither of them had our pool holes. I would pick the Angels to do better than the Cardinals. So I think our pool holes is going to be able to be the difference maker this year and uh, give the Angels that uh, division win. Now in third, I have um, I have the Mariners. There's a big drop-off here. You got first and second. They're going to be competing. And then the Mariners and Athletics are going to be just way behind and then competing for third, I guess it would be. Uh I have the Mariners because pretty much Felix Hernandez. Felix Hernandez, he's he didn't have the best year last year, but he's a good pitcher. He can really, I feel like he can come out this year and just have a have a great year like he did two years ago and have a Cy Young-like numbers. Now, they have Ichiro. Everyone knows Ichiro. Been, uh, been around for a while. But they don't really have anybody that's good. They can't really compete for this division title. Now, the Athletics are actually, I think, they're worse. They're worse. Because they don't even have that... They don't have that pitcher that's Felix Hernandez. Like They have McCarthy, Cologne, uh, Malone, Ross, and Godfrey. I mean, no one co- compares to Felix Hernandez. Now they do have Coco Crisp, who everyone knows, but uh, that's their that's it. That's the only person that if you're not a baseball fan, you don't know any of these other players. Like you don't know who Pennington is at shortstop. No idea. Like I'm, I mean, they have Johnny Gomes. I mean, no one really knows who he is. Like Allen at first base. No, no one. Donaldson at third. Just more examples of how there's no stars on this team, and they're not going to be able to do anything this year, and that's why I think they're going to come in last. At least when you're of the, at least if you're on the Mariners, you have Felix Hernandez, who is just a beast on the mound, and I really think he's going to have a good year this year. So those are my predictions: uh, Angels, then Rangers, big drop off, Mariners, Athletics. So uh, comment, tell me what you think, Uh, message me on Twitter, like, subscribe, anything like that. Um, So yeah, just hit me up in any way you can, and I'll be making another video at least, at least one more video tonight. So uh, keep a lookout. See ya.